Today is Sunday, 8 August. I'm testing the uh, solar pump. It arrived a couple of weeks ago. The first one that arrived, it was damaged and uh, it didn't work. So I took it apart to find out why it was damaged. The, uh, it was probably dropped during uh, transit to me. See, as you can see, the magnet was uh, cracked and it was creating a short it didn't work chatted with the seller and the seller was uh, very kind and sent me a replacement so we will be testing the replacement the uh, the specification of this is uh, 48 volt DC lift is 45 meters meaning that it could go down 45 meters outlet is 1 inch power is 400 watt flow is 4 cubic meter per hour and the pipe is 75 Quebec John uh, anyway it's a DC submersible pump what does 4 cubic meter per hour means how is it represented? This is 200 liter drum, uh, which is 0 0.2 cubic meter. So if you were to look at uh, a 4 cubic meter in one hour, you would be filling up 20 of these uh, 200 liter drum. So it's a lot of water. In half an hour, you would be filling up 10 of these 200 liter drums so in 15 minutes you would be filling up five of these uh, 200 liter drums so so the uh, four cubic meter per hour it's a lot of water you could actually fill up a swimming pool depending on the swimming pool of course so uh, imagine having drums upon drums of uh, water using that pump so think about it or uh, so it, it makes you think uh, how powerful the uh, the submer is this is the replacement submersible that was sent to me and I have this uh, water container rainwater and uh, we will be testing it I will uh, step up the voltage I've already tested it I just want to show what's going to happen. The initial voltage here is 12 volts. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on and, we'll, and uh, uh, the submersible will actually pump water. Uh, at this shallow, uh, it's not lifting too much water. But if it's 45 meters down, then the, the weight of the water going up 45 meters will uh, weaken the motor at 12 volts. So, turn it on. So, it took a while for the, the pump to energize. So, as you can see, the, the outflow is quite weak. Now, I'll uh, set it up, increase it to, increase it to a higher voltage. As I go up in voltage, the current draw will in increase in the power. So, at uh, we'll max it at 20, 20 volts. So, at 20 volts, uh, the, the current draw is 2.3 amps, 46 watts. I, I, I can't set this. Uh, uh, power supply to 48 uh, the uh, the internal power supply is actually set to 24 volts so this is as high I can go so with that actually uh, if we give it the 40 volts the outflow will be quite high next we're going to use a solar panel this is a 200 watt solar panel the uh, BMP is 36 volts, IMP is 5.5 amps, 
and BOC is uh, open circuit voltage so uh, that's, that's what I mean by BOC BMP is uh, voltage being utilized under load so uh, this when we bought this several years ago we it was like 7,000 peso nowadays it's really cheap for 200 watts it's not 7,000 the time now is 12.15 and the uh, BOC right here is uh, 42 volts I am uh, will be connecting the uh, I will be connecting the submersible pump and at the same time I'll check the uh, the load the voltage will drop uh, due to load so the uh, submersible pump is on uh, it's being powered by the solar panel and now the uh, voltage is 34.6 volts so it dropped by 4 volts uh, this is the load so uh, the container is almost full I'm gonna turn it off so I'm going to reconnect the uh, the submer. I, I in place the submer in, uh, in the container, the clear container, and uh, power it up. So at 34 volts, it actually uh, will uh, energize harder. So sure. I lifted the uh, the submer uh, by by mistake, and so it uh, sucked air, and it doesn't like that. So. It, it's really important that when you're working with Submer, it should never be out of water. And so, I hope I didn't, uh, hopefully I didn't damage the uh, Submer. So I'll have to uh, energize it again and find out. So it's working again. Um, it's really important not to trap air in the Submer. It'll just uh, not work. It won't pump water out. So. When it reaches a certain level, uh, it's best to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off. It does work with one 200 watt panel with the uh, with a BOC of 40 volts. It would be more effective if, if it's, it is actually running or being powered at the rated voltage, 48 volts. It does work from 12 I think the maximum is 60 volts, 70 volts. Uh, so I'm going to look at getting another panel and check that. Uh, I'll, I'll do another video on that when, when I do have another solar panel. It'll be in series to give me a higher voltage reaching up to 48 volts.